Hello friends, I'm Krishna Kanjani from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to the online lecture series on kinematics and theory of motion. In this session, we will learn about the cam and follower system. Okay, so in previous session, we have learned that various types of motion of the follower, either it is a uniform velocity, simple harmonic motion, uniform acceleration and retardation and cycloidal motion. Okay, and based on this uh, motion of the follower, we have to plot different displacement diagrams. Now, let's learn with the third type of motion, which is uniform acceleration and retardation. Now, acceleration, uniform acceleration, it means the constant increase in velocity, or we can say uh, uniform retardation, or we can say uniform decrease, decrement in velocity. Okay, acceleration is uniform, it means it is going with constant increase in velocity or I can, we can either we can say uniform acceleration and similarly for retardation we can say it is uniform decreasing velocity. Okay, so uh, for uh, plotting displacement diagram uh, for this type of motion, again let's consider first uh, fundamental uh, data that is uh, the rise or you can say lift of the follower that is 40 mm again dividing into four equal intervals of rise 12 return and 12 and again to represent this 100 uh, total 360 degree we are using the scale of that is 20 degree is equal to 1 centimeter or we can say 10 mm okay so to represent this 10 mm so your 100 degree will be represented by 50 mm similarly your 80 will be represented by 40 mm your 90 degree will be represented by 40 mm 45 so in this way total 180 mm that you need to plot on your horizontal line okay so to plot these horizontal and vertical lines one revolution of cam that is 180 mm on horizontal and your vertical line will represent the displacement of the follower that is stroke which is 40 mm so again draw 40 mm line okay now you need to complete this rectangle as we have done in the previous two methods okay so your displacement diagram will be sketched in this uh, rectangle now phase one that is theta one for rise angle we have been given the 50 mm dimension so divide uh, first division that is your 50 mm will represent the theta one phase so extend this line and this one will be your first rectangle theta one which is representing the right angle or you can say the outmost drop okay now in uniform acceleration and retardation method we need to divide this horizontal line into six equal intervals that is one two three four five and six simply 50 mm by five so you can sketch uh, equal division of 10 mm okay now by extending the inner uh, middle division or we can say if you consider this one as zero one two three four five and six so from this six division uh, total six division from third division you need to extend this vertical line okay now join now again you need to divide this vertical line into six equal intervals that is 40 mm by six and by simply dividing into six equal intervals you will uh, get some points over here which is which can be termed as a from the bottom most we can say as a zero dash then one dash two dash three dash four dash five dash and six dash okay now uh, let's consider first one for uh, constant velocity line so it will be a line line like this now how you will get the uniform acceleration so to get the uniform acceleration now you need to extend this uh, divisions on your starting point so from this o, o point or we can say from this zero point extend uh, extend the lines which is making contact with this first one dash then similarly extend to 2 dash your 3 dash extension is uh, the same way the 4 dash now for the upper uh, divisions you need to join this point with this end point okay so over here you will get lines like okay now extend this uh, horizontal divider, divisions in vertical line which is making intersection with these black lines Okay, so if you will extend or you, if you will sketch the or vertical lines from this one dash, so uh, which is making intersection with this one dash will give you point one dash. Okay, from two dash here intersection with 
two dash line, three dash will be like this. Similarly, extending this four dash line will make intersection like this, and for from five dash intersection like this. So in this way, you can plot the uniform acceleration and retardation. Okay, so if you will follow the proper procedure, procedure then you will get points or curves like this. Okay. Now, if you will observe the pattern over here. So you can feel that for the first half, the velocity is continuously increasing, or we can say uniform acceleration. And for the second phase, and for the second phase, if you will follow, the velocity is continuously decreasing, or we can say uniform retardation. So in this way, you can plot for out stroke that is theta one. Now for theta two, that is well portion, we need to simply extend these lines in this way. Okay, so this will be your complete rectangle. So now this stroke will represent the theta two, that is well portion. Okay, now return stroke. Again, you have to follow the same same procedure. Okay, so to follow the same procedure, either you will divide this 45 mm line into six equal intervals and simply sketch the inclined line. Either you can use the you can either use the theta one phase because. The motion is uh, in a similar way as we have learned in rise stroke or out stroke. Either you can use the shortcut method. Now, how we can plot in the shortcut method? So simply extend this uh, points which you have obtained previously on your first phase, theta theta one phase. Okay. Now you need to extend this line, which is like this. Now extend uh, first uh, the Horizontal division that is seven. Uh, if you uh, have completed six point over here, the so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen point. Okay, now extend this vertical line. Okay, now this horizontal line you need to simply extend it from the first of ten points. Okay, so if you will extend, so here you will get. The first point from the second to the second extension, from the middle to the middle extension, then from the sorry, then from the fourth line you will get over here. Similarly, from the fifth line you will get over. Okay, and if you will sketch, uh, if you will join this curve, then it will be following the similar pattern. Okay, so uh, so you will get the similar type of curve. In return stroke. So in this way, we can plot displacement diagram for uniform acceleration and retardation method. Clear? Okay. Now let's learn the last type of displacement diagram, which is rarely used because in most of the examples, you will face that uh, the first three type of motions will be given in your data. Uh, this fourth type of motion is rarely used. But uh, let uh, we have to learn with the displacement diagram. So let's uh, learn this displacement diagram for cycloidal motion. So now we are aware. Uh, we have to consider this basic data that is uh, stroke theta one two three four. That is four phases of the one rotation of the cam and twenty uh, degree is equal to one centimeter or we can say ten mm as your scale. Now let's uh, first identify what is cycloidal motion. So while learning. Or uh, in the first year subjects, that is in graphics, you are aware that cycloidal motion is a third type of motion in which a simple circle is rolling on a straight line. If you will consider a straight line like this, and your object, your circle is moving on the, uh, is rolling on this straight line, then by tracing the contact point or by tracing the first contact point, you will get the uh, curve or the loci or we can say the locus, which is known as a cycloid. Okay, so simple rota rolling or we can say rotation of uh, one circular object on a straight line will give you the cycloidal motion. Okay, now here if you consider that the follower is moving with cycloidal motion. Now what it means that while it is moving from the bottom most position to the topmost position, that is the stroke length. So while moving uh, while completing this whole entire stroke length, it will cover its one complete rotation. So now one complete rotation means its circumference, and its circumference can be represented by two pi r. So we can say that during the one complete rotation, it will move 
the distance of 2 pi into radius of this circle okay so uh, here uh, in data you will be given only the stroke length of your follower so you need to find out this radius so you can calculate this radius by using this simple equation that is circle, uh, sorry, radius of the circle that is r is equal to we can say s upon 2 pi so r is equal to s upon 2 pi so by using this formula you will calculate the radius of the circle so over here the stroke is given as 40 mm so you need to put this value of 40 mm divided by 2 pi that will give you the radius of the circle okay now to sketch this displacement diagram let's uh, start with the first one that is rise angle or we can say theta 1 okay so for theta 1 that is 120 degree will be represented by uh, 20 degree as 1 centimeter so here it will be 120 degree represented by 60 mm line okay so extend or uh, draw 160 mm line and divide this 60 mm line into 6 equal intervals so that is for 10 mm distance you will get 6 in, uh, equal distance line okay now uh, you need to sketch one circle which is representing your radius of circle which is rolling on this uh, vertical line okay so you have uh, calculated the radius from this equation so uh, take this uh, radius uh, uh, take your center point as your this uh, contact point or your initial point and sketch one circle and the radius is equal to s upon 2 pi okay now you need to divide this circle into six equal intervals okay so how you will divide so again now from this starting point if you consider this one as your starting point then divide this circle into six equal intervals so that is your if you will consider the radius of your circle as your arc length then first uh, arc you will get from this point over here so that is your first division second division third division simply you will put your uh, tip of the rounder over here so the fourth division fifth division and sixth arc you will get over here okay now simply extend these division lines in such a way that it will give you the exact horizontal lines over here okay so you will get this type of three horizontal lines okay now give notation to this uh, three point three uh, divisions as one two three four five and six okay now to draw this cycloidal motion you need to simply extend this vertical line of your stroke line okay so this uh, vertical line and this horizontal line uh, both will intersect at intermediate point and they will give you the point on this contact point this which uh, you will get three different contact points intersection points sorry okay so this intersection points now you need to extend so from the center point you will draw one inclined line which is intersecting with this rectangle okay now you need to draw parallel lines which is uh, starting from the intersection points okay so from this intersection points you will draw parallel line to this intermediate line now simply extend from this division so from 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash and 6 dash point if you will enter or if you will uh, from the if you will observe over here so for first and second point okay so for first and second point your extension line is this horizontal line so this intersection point point will give you the pattern like this so if you will sketch like this so your circle from this first and second point your a dash line which is your first intersection point from that you will extend line this so over here you will get the first one dash and two dash okay now your third and fourth point your third and fourth point which is making third and sixth point sorry they are intersecting at this intermediate point so from this intermediate extension line this third division will give you three dash and this sixth one will give you the final point six uh, this sixth dash will give you the final point over here Similarly, you can extend this point 4 and point 5 and that will give you the intersection point such as B and E over here. Okay, so in this way, you can plot displacement diagram for cycloidal motion and similar pattern you can follow to draw the return stroke or theta.
okay so in this way we can plot displacement diagrams for various motions that is for cycloidal uh, simple harmonic motion and uarf motion. okay thank you